kick off our tour in Eden. We're a touch over 475 k's from Sydney, 550 plus from Melbourne and 265 and change from Canberra for those playing along at home. Eden is home to more than 3,200 people with the numbers swelling dramatically in summer. I can see why the rugged cliffs, sandy beaches and the most beautiful water all make this a tourist hotspot. And not all the tourists are human. This is a highway for whale traffic. In fact, groups of killer whales or orcas used to assist anglers by herding in the baleen whales. This went on for more than a century, but these days, whale watching is the order of the day. But like a whole lot of places around this magnificent country, a combination of bushfires and COVID have really affected the livelihoods of the locals. So we're here to show you what's on offer and throw a few bucks into the local tills because the local traders are really feeling the pinch. Yeah, well, sort of, I got hit twice. First of all, I lived at uh, Boyd Town. We got evacuated from, from there to down here. So we are actually staying in the shop. We had uh, people in the shop uh, with their sleeping bags, sleeping on the floor, even uh, under stress. Everyone was there sort of side by side and helping each other. One of the most frightening things were people was that it was actually sort of surrounded. So you had sort of your, your, your fire sort of surrounding the whole section around here. So uh, Eden was on high alert there for a while. I can happily report the town is up and about and ready for trade. And local larrikin buff couldn't be happier. When Jeffrey's <laughs> not here, I get upset. He wasn't here Friday. Yeah. So he wants the shop to be open so he can go back, go to his office every I've morning. Got to have the routine. Buff is a seller of succulents and a teller of tales. I went down to Ben Boyd Sur the Shell Survey there this morning because Marty said two weeks ago that come down no markets on Saturday and Sunday, and I had four customers this morning. But that doesn't throw me or anything because mm. I'll go back there again tomorrow morning <laughs> and I'll just go out the nursery. I'll restock. I've got about five thousand of them. Mm. So put a few more back on to fill up the holes and then go back there again tomorrow and it's see what happens. It's all attitude, isn't it? And the town does need uh, visitors and we do need the tourists. Uh, businesses really uh, depend on that. The prime uh, reason why people come here, I think, is because of the beautiful beaches, the forests, the fishing is spectacular. Just checking permits. You got your permits to fish out Absolutely. here? Absolutely. Yeah, well, if you can't produce them, I'm going to have to take your catch. Here we go. Here's a fish. Fair enough. What'd you catch? A oh, little exactly. favelli. Oh, look hold, at that. Hold the rod. You better send him back and fatten him up a bit, I think. <laughs> and you brought the dog along. What's the dog's name? Josie. Josie. Josie reminds me a little bit of myself. Short legs. <laughs> I came down here about uh, 35 years ago with my wife and our kids are that small and I could just cast a fishing rod out, sit it in the sand on the beach, go back, have a beer, watch the, watch the kids play. Once you get into the area, I think it's, it's uh, you always want to go back at some stage. The waters here are home to seafood to make the mouth water, with trawlers hauling in restaurant catches, anglers dropping a line and others just happy to sit by and watch it all while eating some freshly served fish and chips of the area. I think we might stay for a bit. 